Mummy? No. Headless pony? No. Vampire fruit bat? Ugh, definitely no. You see, Fluttershy, the beauty of Nightmare Night is that you don't have to dress up as something scary. Ooh, yes! This one will look gorgeous on you. Period costumes are all the rage this year. What, no good? What if we encounter something terrifying and need to get away quickly? All those layers could slow me down, or worse, make me trip. Oh, I never considered that. Never fear. <laughs> oh, now this is a real stunner. I call it masquerade. Just a simple black dress underneath, but with this ornately decorated mask. A mask? No. They can just be so difficult to see out of. Yes, but this one has eye holes. What about being able to see what's to the left or right of me? I suppose your vision would be somewhat obscured. It's your first nightmare night out and about, and we do want you to be comfortable. What if I just wear the dress? Oh, sure, dear. That's fine. It's so plain, it's frightening. Oh, my! Look at all of you! My costumes fit you to a T! Oh, wait! We're gonna have the best time! Hey, Fluttershy! Where's your costume? I'm wearing it. <gasps> I get it! You're a robber escaping into the night! You're a ninja escaping into the night! You're black licorice escaping into the night! Close. I'm going to a masquerade ball. Without the mask. Oh, that's great. Isn't it great? Oh, so creative. great costume! I figured I'd save the really scary games for next year when Fluttershy's more used to it. Round and round and round you go. Where you stop, no one knows. Okay, go! <laughs> Good luck beating that, Fluttershy! Well, um, it's just that if I'm blindfolded and somebody were to leap out in front of me, I'd never have the chance to defend myself. That's fine, darling. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. We're just glad you're here. We don't have to finish that game. I have another one I know you'll love. Bobby for Apple! Fluttershy, what's wrong? It's just that, um, what happens if when my head is deep down in the water, some kind of scary monster appears? How would I even hear to know I was under attack? Time for candy! It is? I get candy bags. Each bag has been made with each of you in mind, complete with each of your favorite candies. <laughs> awesome! Oh, hello! <laughs> nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm so happy. That to sassy you. totally stepped on your hooves, Rarity. Oh no! Did she mess up that nice pony penny? Oh, okay. Phew. Oh, I don't think she meant to. Rarity, are you ready to reveal the collection? Is she sure she doesn't want to do it herself? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am. Fluttershy, could you help Twilight get ready? Oh, certainly. Fillies and gentle colts, I am designer and couturier Rarity. I would like to welcome you again <laughs> to the grand opening of Canterlot Carousel. And I'm thrilled that you're here to see my newest collection inspired by this regal city. plate of Cosmere magazine. I'm so honored that Cosmere was able to do a piece on the grand opening of my boutique. Well, when Sassy Saddles calls saying she's found the latest and greatest in fashion, we hightail without fail. Now tell me all about your latest collection. Oh, uh, it's called Rarity's Royal Regalia. <gasps> Royally radiant! My favorite part of being a designer is finding my inspiration, and that really wasn't difficult when it came to Canterlot. Everywhere I look, the royal city just spoke to me. I call it inspiration. Genius! Simply genius! 
I spent hours by the lily pond on the castle grounds, which inspired this gown, Water Filly. Oh, the whimsy! Watching Celestia raise the sun each morning literally lit up my day. This is tripping the light. Fantastic! <laughs> and of course, Luna raising the moon guided me to sleep. I call this over the moon. Well, I certainly am. <laughs> and for our finale, I have something very special. I was inspired by the stained glass window created in honor of Princess Twilight. So I call this the rain in stain. Because the dress is inspired by the stained the glass, glass window, window of a rainy princess. princess. <gasps> yes. Well, I think the rain in stain is too difficult to explain, <laughs> especially for the signature piece of a collection. But I rather like the Phillies and gentle colts. I, Sassy Saddles, am pleased to introduce the grand finale of the grand opening of Rarity's royal regalia, the princess dress. Princess dress. Oh. Oh. There you are. My suit has vanished, and this was the only thing left in my closet. How do I look? Like a million bits. Great wickering stallions! Look at the time. We'd better get inside. Allons-y. I can't believe I lost my hair. I look ridiculous. The love of my life deserves better than this. Have no fear, Cranky, my dear. It's Stephen Magnet's moustache to the rescue. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, no problem. Now you get in there and marry that donkey. Well, is every pony here? Oh, Seth Mayor. Dearly beloved. We are gathered here today to join these two in matrimony. As I look around this room, I can only imagine how uncomfortable Cranky must be. <laughs> but I also see so many ponies from all trots of life, brought together by love. Cranky searched all across this great land of ours to find Matilda. And no matter what obstacles kept them apart, love would finally bring them together, just as it has brought all of us together now. It's remarkable to me how a story like Cranky's Search for Matilda could fill this room with such a unique collection of ponies. It makes you realize that every pony is the star of their own story. And it's not just the main characters in our stories that make life so rich. It's every pony. Those who play big parts and those who play small. If it weren't for every pony in this room and many more who couldn't be here today, Cranky and Matilda's lives wouldn't be as full and vibrant as they are. <laughs> and so, in front of all these loved ones, Cranky, do you take this donkey to be your lawfully wedded wife? You bet I do. And do you, Matilda, take this donkey to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Then I'm proud to say, I now pronounce you Jack and Jenny. <laughs> something, girls? We are so lucky to live in this town. I love you all. Ow! That's where the bug bear bit me. Sorry.
I must say, it's been very nice having you take over some of the planning responsibilities for this year's gala. Anything I can do to make it easier on you. Thank you, Twilight. I am quite looking forward to just enjoying the gala for once. Announcing the spirit of chaos, discord, and his guest, the... Uh, the Smooze! Good evening, every pony. What a glorious affair. He does have a yen for shiny things. The rascal. I'll take care of this. What are you doing here with that? Now, now, now. The smooth may be an it, but it's an it with a heart of, well, blob. This night is extremely important to me, Discord. Keep it under control. Yes, 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 of course. Tell me, have you seen Fluttershy anywhere? We're here! We're here! We made it to the gala! <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. The aura coming off the waterfall was so alive. So like magic and manifestation. Wow. Oh, Fluttershy, I didn't see you there. How did you even know to look for an aura on a waterfall? <clears throat> Discord, I thought you weren't coming. No, I actually never said that. But funny how you remembered it that way. Anyway, good to see you, tree friend, is it? Your name is slipping my mind right now. How strange. Nice to meet you. I'm Tree Hugger. Blessings. You have met me before, actually. Cool. Like in another life, maybe? You've got to be kidding. You don't remember me? <laughs> I meet a lot of different creatures. Each one of them perfect and unique. Yes, well, as I was saying, it's just great to be here with my oldest, bestest friend. Am I really your oldest, bestest friend? You? <laughs> oh, of course not. You think I don't have other friends? I'm centuries old. I was talking about the smooths, smooth face, the smoothinator. Well, I mean, that's what we called them back in college. Smooth! I would like you to meet Fluttershy and, um, a tree, what is it? Oh, a tree embrace? Oh, I like that. It's so in rhythm with my life force. Maybe I'll change it. <laughs> Welcome. 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 A cutie mark is a representation of a pony's unique talents and skills. How is it possible to... <gasps> What in the name of Equestria is that? Welcome. Care to sample some local fashion? We've got cloaks this month. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, perhaps uh, another time, good sir. Thank you. No wonder no pony's wearing anything. Really, girls, they may do things a bit differently than we're used to, but that's no reason to be rude. No, the reason to be rude is that they all keep staring at us. Need something? Uh, no. We're good. Fluttershy's right. If we're gonna get to the bottom of why the map sent us here, we'll need the help of these ponies. I think we ran off to the end of Equestria before we even knew what that map was. If we were at the end of Equestria, we'd be sitting on a big A. <laughs> get it? Oh, please, Miss Pie, this is hardly the time for jokes. We've come all this way, and for what? Maybe you're right, but we're here now, and it sure feels like something's wrong. That and two bits will get you a cup of cider. Is this a bad time? We shouldn't be bickering like this in front of our new friends. Really, Applejack, you're almost as bad as Rainbow Dash. Don't drag me into this! Is your friendship ending? Are you crazy? We'd never let a disagreement get in the way of food! Okay, well, my name is Sugar Bell. 
What can I bring you? We have muffins. Then I guess we'll take six muffins. Make that twelve! What? I'm hungry! Come on, girls. We've got to stick together. It doesn't matter what happened before. We're here now. I guess you're right. And the sooner we figure out why, the sooner we can go home. Forgive me for overhearing, but just a moment ago you were disagreeing. And now it sounds like you're agreeing. Uh-huh. Well, you had such differing opinions and cutie marks. We have differing opinions all the time, darling. But you look like you're friends. We are friends. A simple disagreement wouldn't change that. I'm sorry. I'm just having a hard time understanding. Different talents lead to different opinions, which lead to bitterness and misery. So, why aren't you bitter and... <laughs> 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 